this is a Surface 4. I'm going to install Linux in there. So before I do that, I need to, or you need to have a backup of your OS. So I have already taken the backup of this one. Well, technically, I downloaded the image for this uh, model and then created uh, an installer. So it's like uh, resetting your machine. Anyway, once that's taken care of, you need your Linux distribution to be installed on a stick. So there are already several videos out there discussing on how to put your OS, your Linux, your favorite Linux distro in a thumb drive similar to this one. So I will not be hand I will not be discussing that in this video. So first things first, I'm going to restart this computer. Rather, I'm going to shut it down. Okay, that's an oops. Okay. So once that's shut down, you need to hold power. You need to hold power and the volume up button. So if you don't know the volume up, it's the plus sign. Let me focus that one. Okay, I'm going to hold the, the power and the plus sign. So once the surface is up, okay. That's quick. Okay, let me just focus this. Okay. So what you need to do is click on the boot configuration. Okay, so what you need to do is go on to security and need to disable secure boot. So here, under the secure boot, the secure boot is enabled. We will not be able to uh, boot from our USB stick if that is enabled. So what we need to do is we need to disable it. So change configuration and then none. That will disable the secure boot. And then afterwards, you click on exit. You tap in exit and restart. Okay. So how do we know that secure boot is off? So once the surface is restarted, you will see... Did you see that? The red band at the top of the, sur of the surface. That means that the surface or the secure boot is turned off. There will be a bit locker similar to this one. I'll just skip this for a while. And uh, I'll just turn off my PC or my Surface. And then I have Pop OS in this drive. I'll just plug it in. I'll just plug this in. Okay, it's there. And let's start. Now let's start the machine using the power plus the minus sign now. Okay, once that's up, you just hold the power and Pop OS is going to be started. Now I need the keyboard for this one. I'll just attach it. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I'm, I just adjusted the screen. Now, I'm going to install this and be right back. So the setup is finished, I mean the installation is finished. I can either uh, shut down or restart the device. So I would choose to shut down the device first so that I can remove the media.
Okay, once that's done, I'm going to remove this pen drive or thumb drive. And then let's see if I'm going to have... I'm going to power up. Okay, I'm going to power this up now. Okay, let's see. So there you have it guys, I have installed Pop OS on my Surface Pro. Now the thing is, is it working? <laughs> is touch working? Definitely not. It's not supported. Okay, it's not supported. So good thing that the trackpad is. Okay, so display. Low DPI for increased performance. Why would I do that? It's June 6. And. Yeah. So hit on. Just hit on the start key. I mean the Windows key here. It will display the menu. And we there you have it. I have a free OS with free Office Suite, and it's running on Surface Pro 4. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified on other future contents, and see you on the next one. Bye bye.